It's Theo. A um, couple of... <laughs> that, yeah, you know, you're good there. A uh, couple of tries. Uh, how did that feel today? Yeah, it's, uh, it's not quite feeling like it, scoring for your country. First time, obviously, in a World Cup. It's, uh, you know, I've dreamed of this moment since I was a kid, so to finally do it is uh, special. Did you think you were going to be uh, Henry to the hat trick at one point? No, <laughs> no way. I mean, you know, he was on fire today. Uh, it seemed like every time he was getting the ball, he was creating something. So uh, at no point did I think there would be me taking over the try scoring tallies. Um, seemed like a very good forward display today. There was three or so scrum penalties. The line out and the defensive line out particularly looked uh, very good. Um, what does that mean, you know, for the forward pack? Um, how does that kind of performance like bind the group together? Yeah, it's great. Obviously, we've been focusing massively sort of every week, really, about getting dominance from the forwards. It makes the back's life a lot easier um, when you're playing off front football, when you're playing off penalty advantages. Um, it definitely frees the backs up to, you know, try more stuff. Um, and this week, obviously, it was uh, <laughs> it was uh, it was, you know, at the forefront of our minds. And uh, yeah, I'm just delighted the fact that we uh, we did what we set out to do. So first 20 minutes were a little difficult, um, had a few chances that didn't quite stick. Um, what was kind of going through your mind? What were the, what were the kind of the senior players saying uh, around that time to, you know, get you through what could have been potentially a sticky situation? You know, the longer that you go scoreless against, as being the, against, with the underdog like Chile, they kind of give them more hope they can get into the game. Well, first and foremost, um, it's important to note that, you know, Chile are a dangerous side. Um, they have the ability, their backs as well, very quickly to have these moments where suddenly you're in their 22 and suddenly you're back 60 metres defending your own 22. Um, so I think we, we preferred ourselves for the fact that it was going to happen at some point today. Um, what was important for us was the fact that we prepared for, you know, we prepared for the reaction um, that it wouldn't, let, it wouldn't affect us from our next job for... Uh, you know, we wouldn't hold on to anything bad that happened. We were just focusing on what we were going to do next. Um, so, yeah, I'm very pleased. And we are very pleased as a team about how we react to those sort of moments. <clears throat> and uh, kind of going forward, you, you've, you know, you've had your World Cup debut. Um, a bunch of you today managed to, to get on the pitch. Do you think that now after that performance from yourself and others uh, making their debut, that the training the next few weeks is going to be even more hotly contested uh, to you know, get those last few starting spots uh, kind of secured or under contention in the next, for the next game and for the knockouts? Well, training... Um, is so competitive, regardless of whether you're competing for a spot in the quarters, whether you're playing, you know, next week, whether you're not playing, training's been at such a high level, um, really demanding a lot from each other. Um, so yeah, that, that you know, personally and as a team, as a collective, we're not thinking about uh, playing and training to get a spot. We're playing and training to put the team first. And, um, and yeah, hopefully we've got another big win Hopefully next week against Samoa to put us in good stead, hopefully further on. But um, but yeah, we'll work hard at that. Yeah, thank you very much and thank congratulations. You. Cheers. <laughs>